So I'm sitting there being like, fuck, did I even take the acid? Am I dreaming? Like, am I ever gonna come out of this dream? I'm Goody Grace, and this is my tale from the trip. So this was in 2015, four years ago. One of my favorite rappers and a close friend of mine named I Love McConan came to my hometown at the same time while I was visiting from LA. So McConan had a show. I knew that he was kind of known for acid. He talks about it a lot. I had done mushrooms a lot. I'd never done acid. I met him at his hotel. We went and walked through the park. There's a little walkway. There's like a river to the side. People kept biking past. It was a beautiful like summer day. Green, beautiful. <laughs> And then he goes, I have like a sheet of LSD. So he pulls out this big sheet. If it was like a puzzle, and then the tabs were the pieces, like a lion on it, I'll never forget. I remember actually hearing, I'm pretty sure Timothy Leary said like, cause I'd wanted to do LSD since I was like, heard about it. Like I was like 12 being like, fuck, this is so cool. I can't wait to like encounter it. And I remember hearing Timothy Leary, he's like, or maybe it was the other guy, I don't know, the guy on the bike, the bike story. You can Google it. Um, <laughs> someone, a, a founding father of LSD, said it'll come to you. So I remember when McConan presented it, I was like, damn, this like guru brought it to me. It finally came to me. I didn't have to go searching. Let's do it. So I did one. I was kind of scared, kind of like a bitch. I was like, oh, I don't know how hard it's going to hit. I thought I'm like, I'm going to push it on my tongue and be like, fucking blast off. Didn't happen. So. I put it on my tongue, waited a bit, I took it off, and then I waited maybe like half hour, nothing happened. So I took another one. This one I let sit on my tongue like forever, swallowed it, I was like, great. So after I took the second tab, I'm still waiting, being like, fuck, how does this feel? And I feel like that's everyone's thing. Like, you never know how it feels until you feel it. So I remember not feeling shit and then starting to feel light. I like couldn't feel my legs, but I was walking. And then it really hit me when like someone texted me and I remember trying to reply to the text and like looking at my phone and realizing like holy fuck like this screen in my hand can communicate like just kind of overthinking the idea and concept of a cell phone and I remember that's when I was like fuck I'm on acid. I'm like now like oh my god I took two. Makona had to fly to like another city. I was like how the fuck is he getting on a plane right now? I'd probably lose my mind. At one point, I can't remember where, someone called me. Actually it was my brother. I remember my brother called me. I like didn't know if he'd be like you're a fucking idiot. Why are you like on two tabs of acid walking around like the city? But I answered it and he was driving. He was in a truck or whatever and maybe his windows were down so I could hear a lot coming through. So I couldn't really hear him on the other line, which for some reason made me be like, cool, I can't really hear him so he probably can't hear me even though I'm in a quiet setting. So I started yelling in the phone. Like, you know when you're in a crowd so you start yelling, you like cover your ear, like you do the whole thing thinking that'll help you. So I'm doing that but I'm in a very peaceful, quiet room. And he was like, why are you yelling? And I go, sorry, I couldn't hear you. So like in my mind, I thought like, I can't really hear him. So if I start yelling into the phone, he'll start yelling too. And maybe we'll just like both yell over each other. I don't know. And then he was like, bro, you're weird. And like, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow type shit and hung up. I stay up the whole night. Like I must have been tripping for like 20 hours. The night goes on. My friend comes and picks us up. We go back to my godparents' house. We went in the basement. Everyone where I'm from has like sick basements. Like it's real ball and head like a cool basement with like a carpet and shit. And I wanted to watch this movie that I love called Waking Life. First off, the movie's already visually fucked, but the whole movie has like no plot and it's just different like existential um, conversations about like dreams and philosophy. It probably wasn't the best thing I could have watched, but it really changed my life. I remember there's this one line where it's like something about how people think life is real, but they're like, they're really just in life's waiting room while they're living and like that fucked me up. So the movie's pretty much about this kid, he doesn't know if he's dreaming or not. So I'm sitting there being like, fuck, did I even take the acid? Am I dreaming? Like, am I ever gonna come out of this dream? I started like making beats to it. I actually have like a folder called Waking Life of like this crazy like electric guitar. But I think a lot of the sonics that I made on that trip are styles and sounds that I brought into my actual music and that I still use to this day and that have kind of became um, the theme of, of my sound. So it was 9 a.m., I'd been up all night, and I went into like 
get a Red Bull for some reason because I felt I was tired, but I wanted to like stay up. A girl I went to high school with was working at the gas station and she was like, oh my God, you're home. And I was like, yeah, I'm on acid. When you're on it, like, I feel like you just want to tell people as well because you don't, like, you feel weird and you're like, I don't want this person to think I'm being weird. So I'm just like, just so you know, I'm on acid. And she's like, it's 9 a.m. on a Tuesday, like, you know. I start having like this existential crisis of being like, fuck, I'm a piece of shit. I'm a musician, people are here working real jobs, but, but you know, before I could dive deep, I just like give me my Red Bull. I think I got some zigzags too, and then I left. Tales from the tr 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 tr